Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nitin Garg and I'm making this video to share what I learn about the React hook. In my previous video, I shared the difference between the function component and a class component. And I did mention that the function component are stateless and class component are the stateful. But in this video, I'm gonna change my statement. So why I'm changing my statement? When I learn about the React and I learned about the React version 16.8, I found out that the React team introduced the concept of hooks through which we can able to make the function component stateful and also able to use the React lifecycle method to manage the state and allow function component to use the React lifecycle method. React team introduced the concept called hooks. In this video, we are going to use two most commonly used hook. First one is the use state, which is allow function component to maintain the state of a variable and use effect, which allow function component to use the react lifecycle methods. To demonstrate the hooks, I'm going to use the same example that I have created when I'm demonstrating the difference between the class component and the function component. If you haven't watched my previous video where I have did the comparison between the class component and the function component, please watch that video. I have added the link in the description. In my previous video, to demonstrate how we can create the stateful component, I have created a class component and declare the state variable and on handle increment and decrement button click, I am updating the state of that variable. Let's do the same thing in a function component using the React hook. So this is the function component that we have created and demonstrated like how you can create the function component. And I know this hello world does not help enough. So I'm going to modify this function component to show how you can maintain the state and also use the react lifecycle method in a function component. Let's write the code first and then we can compare both the function component and class component side by side. These are the two hook that we are going to use to demonstrate how we can maintain the state and also use the react lifecycle method. If you see the definition of this use state hook, it written the stateful value and a function to update it. So this is the variable that holds the value and this is the function that basically update the state of this variable.
Now the code compiled successfully. Let's see the output. Now we have completed the code. Before we go into the side by side comparison, let's first run the code and see the output. And then after we'll compare both class component and a function component side by side. So npm start. I need to first make one change instead of rendering the class component. I need to render the function component import. This is the component that we have created function. Hello world. just to make sure that the output that we are seeing is from the function component. And I think it's better if we see the output of both the component. So if we see, we are able to update the state of that count variable on increment and decrement button click. Same thing we are also able to do it now with the function component. So with the help of these two hooks, we are now able to achieve the same output what we are able to achieve it with the class component. Let's compare the function component and a class component side by side. In a class component, we are using the state object to define the properties for which we need to maintain the state for. We can define as many as property that we would like to maintain the state in a class component. In case of a function component, we are using the use state hook. Use state hook returns the pair, an array of two item. The first item is the current value and the second item is a function. To use the react lifecycle method in a class component, we are using the component did mount and inside the component did mount, we have used the set state function to update the state of that count property. Similarly, we are in a function component, we are using the use effect hook and update the state of that current count. We have handle increment and decrement function to update the state of that current count. Here in place of function component, we are also using the increment and decrement and to update the state of that current count, we are using the set count function, which we have defined when we are defining the use state hook. So this is how with the help of a hooks, you can able to create a stateful function component and also able to use the react lifecycle methods. Hope you like this video. Please comment, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.